guys welcome to all around health talk um i want to quickly apologize because i know it's been a very long time we haven't posted videos but we decided to take a short hiatus um a lot has been happening in nigeria the ensa situation the whole corruption problem in nigeria a lot has really been happening and we just wanted to take time reflect and support the movement so we haven't been posting videos but today i have a very cool video for you which is um on the rapid test for covid19 so today i'm going to be showing you how to do the rapid test and how to interpret the results also remember that the rapid test only checks for antibodies so it tells us if you've had the disease or if you are currently having an active disease or haven't had a disease yet it's not a hundred percent um efficient and so you know that the pcr which is the real-time polymerase chain reaction is the most efficient test that we have at the moment because it detects the genetic uh, material of the virus in the human um secretion be it um, nasopharyngeal um, sample or pharyngeal or sputum or saliva whatever sample they're using so um sorry my mask keeps going down so right now we're going to see the video um i hope you really enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something from it let's go so you see the video hello so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the rapid test for COVID-19. We're going to be using this um, test kit. This is called the test kit. We have a sample buffer, we have the lancets, we have our gloves, and here we have our alcohol swabs for cleaning the patient's finger. First and foremost, you have to wear your gloves, so we're going to put on the gloves but before we do that we want to open the kit so that it can be easy for us to access so you bring it out this way and then you put on your gloves so now we have the gloves we're going to take out the test kit this is what the test kit looks like um, later I'm going to be showing you the details of the test kit but this is what it looks like and this place is where we're going to put the blood sample. And this is where the result is going to come from. There's also this, which is called the pipette. This is for taking, taking out the blood sample. So first, we are going to clean the patient's finger. Make sure you clean very well. Then with the lancet, this is, this is what the lancet looks like. So we're going to take out the top and then you have the needle. So we're going to pierce the skin. <laughs> then you can see it's bringing out blood. So we're going to squeeze out for the blood to come out. And with the pipette, we're going to take some blood sample. The blood sample we're going to put in this circle here. I don't know if you can see the circle. Yeah, so we're going to put the blood sample in the circle. Mm. Here is the blood sample. And now we're going to put three drops of the buffer. Some will ask you to put more than, will ask you to put two drops. And others will ask you to put more. So one, two, and three. So we want to keep this in a protective way so that it doesn't injure someone. And we want to clean the patient's hand with the alcohol swab. Sorry, my, my mask keeps going off. Okay, so we're going to have to wait five to 10 minutes to check the results. And when the result is out, I'll be reading it out to you. So guys, for us to check the test results, um, this is what we would see. Now, the C here is the control test, which means if that line is marked, it's a correct test. There was no error in the testing. You could have the IgG and the IgM2 marked. 
So if the IgG is marked with the C, the C always has to be marked because it's the control. Now, when you have the IgG marked with the C, it means that this person has antibodies that um, have been produced as, as a result of the infection, which means this person has passed the process of this infection. The person is not at the moment contagious. When you have a C and an IgM, it means that this person is presently contagious and should be isolated. The patient, it means that the patient has an active infection. Now, when you have the three cases, it means that this patient has an active infection but has already started producing antibodies that serve as a memory for the immune system. Still, this patient has to be isolated. If you have only a C, it means that this test is negative and this patient has no infection whatsoever. Now, these variants are different variants that show error. You can see that in all these cases, the C is not marked. And since the C is a control, if it's not marked, it's an error. Now, let's check out that of the patient we did. The, pa the, the patient, I um, you guys saw me testing in the video. This person has only the C marked. I don't know if you could see clearly, but um, on the test kit, I'm trying to zoom, you can see C, G, and M, right? In this case, it's only marked C, which means that this patient is negative and has no infection. So G isn't marked, M isn't marked, and that's how you would um, interpret the result for um, ECG. Um, sorry for um, rapid tests of um, COVID-19. Remember that this test is not a hundred percent efficient, but um, it works so far so good. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. That's a video on how you should um, do the rapid test in case you've bought a rapid test kit and you have it at home, but you do not know how to do the, um, carry out the whole process. Well, that video was for you. So um, make sure you share this video to other people who might be interested in knowing how to do the rapid test. Um, thumbs up. Remember to give thumbs up to our videos. Um, share our videos. Subscribe to this channel. Leave us a comment, a question, whatever doubts you have. Put it in the comment section and we'll be checking it and getting back to you. So, see you next week. Bye.